Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Ninja podcast where Manuel shares his business, marketing, and branding strategies he's used to build seven to eight figure businesses. All right, let's enjoy the show. So what are the top five ways to market, advertise, and promote an e-commerce business today? Number one is putting a content machine in place, meaning looking at your ability to create content and start creating content. And here's what I would do on the content side of things. Create a YouTube channel that revolves around your message and what problems your business is solving. First step, create that YouTube channel. Once you create that YouTube channel and you brand it and you make it look beautiful and you find the name for it and you put a banner in place and you do all that good stuff that is the basic of creating that platform, you start creating seven pieces of content a week. You can do seven in one day, you can do one a day, you can do 17 in two days and maybe use them over the next couple of weeks. It does not matter. And you start creating content. You put a camera like this in front, you use something like an iPhone, I don't care, something that is decent quality, and you start doing it. You just get started doing it. Once you get that done and you start posting these videos out there, just realize that there's not gonna be any overnight, right? It's a long-term game that will pay itself in a big way if you don't give up. You start getting that content sent out across the entire world on TikTok, on Facebook, on Facebook Reels, on Facebook Feed, on Instagram, on Instagram Reels, LinkedIn, if it's applicable to your business, and so on. Every single place that allows you to spread a message and every single placement within that place is an opportunity for you to reach people for free and the cost of doing so is zero. The only thing that you gotta do is put in the time and spread it far and wide and just keep on doing that for a few months. At some point, if your content is decent, it will take off. If your content is great, it would absolutely crush it. Attention is there waiting for you. All you gotta do is get into action and you can grab a little piece of it. So that is a senior strategy that I would have you guys execute if you wanna build a powerful e-commerce brand. Number two, I would say you gotta have a good high converting website. And this is number two, because as you get a lot of attention with number one, which is the massive, massive uh, social media attention, uh, they're gonna wanna buy your stuff and they're gonna end up visiting your website and they're gonna keep on finding you. And it's important for Google search engine, it's important for your public, they can go directly to you and buy yourself. So a highly optimized website, aesthetic, user-friendly, fast, low time, all of that is gonna be essential. Number three, you gotta be on Amazon as an e-commerce brand. You must be on Amazon. Amazon is my starting point, especially if you're just getting started and you need cash flow, you need money. Amazon is the quickest path to get there. So I'm a big fan of Amazon still today. Amazon is responsible, let this sink in for a second, of 50 cents of every dollar spent on the internet in the United States of America. There's a lot of websites out there. Amazon takes half of that. So it's incredible. It is an opportunity. It is established traffic already. People are looking for your products out there. All you gotta do is launch, optimize, get nice images, headlines, copy, get a listing that looks sexy enough that when somebody lands on it, they will convert. The game on Amazon revolves around two main things, and those two things are ranking, reviews. You master those two things and you can take off because people are out there looking for products like yours every single day. Number four, as an e-commerce brand, I would say that you gotta build an incredible customer service team. Build a great team that can actually help you show the brand's presence across the internet. Make sure that people are getting the questions answered, you're addressing people's concerns, you're responding to them quickly. Don't let somebody that's upset go out there and hurt you because you never know. Some of these people have followers in the millions and they can post something about you and your brand because you didn't deliver a high quality product like you promised and it could hurt your brand a lot. So customer service in this era is underrated. You gotta make sure that you are doing everything that you can to give attention to people and respond to their concerns and respond to their questions as fast as possible as an e-commerce brand across the board. If you put this in place, your brand is gonna succeed at a much faster pace. So that's very, very, very important. And then last but not least, absolutely not least, uh, there is an old saying in the world of marketing, it's been around for a long time, and it says, the money is in the list. If you guys are a business owner, entrepreneur, you have heard other people talk about that. The money is in the list. Not only that, we can go deeper into that particular sentence and say, the money is in what you do with the list. 
something that I put a lot of attention on consistently is taking that enormous attention of what we covered in step number one and building massive audiences that I can present to them opportunities now for them to come into our world via give me your phone number, give me your email, subscribe to my messenger list, send me a DM, whatever that may be, take them out of social media and bring them into my world that I control in more depth, which is basically our list. So your list is your central files, your list is your bloodline, your list is your oxygen. If you actually get a list that's continuously growing, you will see your business that's also continuously growing. So pay attention to that. Don't just do branding. Make sure that you're finding opportunities for you to give value to people in exchange for them coming into your world. Mini courses, giving away resources, creating contests, doing flash sale deals, doing offers, always in exchange for emails and phone numbers. And you're going to be finding yourself in a growth path, inevitably. Grow your list. When you have that in place, Facebook and Instagram and Google and YouTube, everybody can shut you down. And you know what? You still have a business because you have a list. That's the power of it. Build it and you have a legacy. Let's go. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.